Hey, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name's Tim, and this is The Timo Show, and today, we're gonna paint the interior of this house. Uh, first step we want to do today is paint the ceilings. Well, I guess that's not the first step, but it's the first stage. First stage, we're gonna paint the ceilings, but we want to get everything wrapped up, and there's tons of furniture in here, so stick around and don't go anywhere. Hey, thanks for sticking around. So what we did with all the furniture is we pushed it all the way to the side, draped some plastic because on this day, we're gonna paint the ceiling. And I'm on this job because my friend Mark, this is a beautiful specimen right here on your screen, is a contractor out in Nevada. He called me about April, asked me if I had any openings in the schedule because he had a floor job and also a complete repaint. So uh, we scheduled it in and here we are. We're gonna knock it out. This video, I'm gonna show you the process from start to finish. So, you know, stick around and don't go anywhere. All right, so I'm about to get suited up to paint. We got everything ready. We got the table off here in the kitchen, wrapped off with some six foot plastic, nine foot plastic all throughout the house. We got a six foot mark right there. Six one. Six, six, what was that? Six one. Six one. Uh, then we had Mark do this, and then I went ahead and fixed everything that Mark's done so far, and... <laughs> no, he's doing great, I'm just kidding. And this room's all done, he dropped all the plastic that I put up earlier. Alright, let's start spraying. So I know a lot of you guys are here to just kind of hang out with me, but I think there might be a few of you out there that are watching this because you like painting, or you're maybe even thinking of starting a paint business. And if that is the case, that you're thinking of starting a paint business, I actually created a couple free tools for you guys to help you out, especially in the pricing area, because when I first started, I lost a lot of potential money, like money that I could have made because my pricing wasn't really there. I was just charging hourly or I bought too much paint that I can't return. You can't return paint, especially once it's tinted. They're not going to take it back. So over the years, I've developed like a system like a I mean, it's not fail proof, but it's 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 damn near fail proof. So if you're interested in the system that I use, I actually made it available for you guys. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll leave it in the pinned comment as well. And also including with that free thing, there's also um, I like made like a little cheat sheet on how to get started. So if you want to start a paint business or if you just started a paint business, which I know there's some of you guys there watching this that might apply to scroll down, click the link in the description and I got some tools there to help you guys out. You know, I actually like painting the actual painting part. It's like really rewarding. It doesn't take a whole lot to get started and just watching the immediate changes like super satisfying. Um, there is quite a bit of work that goes into getting stuff ready to paint. But, you know, it's all worth it in the end, you know, and it's all work. That's why they call it work and not fishing, right? All right, we're all done. So we're going to tear down the plastic. We're going to call it a day. And tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do some uh, doors and some trim. So we're all ready to go. We got plastic up over all the stuffs. Mark's wrapping up the last couple things. We got the spray rig ready to go. Use a fine finish tip. Now we're not gonna paint this room yet or this room yet because the, like I said, the house is occupied. So we wanna make sure that she still has access to her room and access to the bathroom. So tomorrow will be like this stuff here, but today we're gonna get all this trim painted we finally got everything wrapped up and ready to go. So yeah, let's do this. So you guys know in these types of videos, I don't really show you the entire process. I like to just kind of focus on the most satisfying footage, like the spraying the first coat. Like I don't show the second coat, like I won't show the bathrooms, but if you guys are interested in seeing that stuff, I have a second channel. I'll also leave it linked in the description below if you guys want to cruise over, see some of the raw footage, any kinds of tips and tricks. Uh, cruise on over. I probably won't mention it again in the video. So if you guys do want to see that channel I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, this job was fun The only bummer part probably the worst part of this job for me was that I was away from home for so long And I um, wasn't able to check on like my vending machines. I didn't make any videos about my vending machines So I kind of got behind which um, I'm really feeling it now uh, this video at the time of upload will be 13 days without an upload, which is absolutely insane. Since I've started my channel, I've never went longer than seven days. 
and uh, this video here marks you know 13 days without an upload and also the footage is from back in June um, we filmed this footage I mean July 4th was uh, the halfway point of this job uh, was the end of a halfway point uh, from the day we started we started in July or the end of June uh, July 4th it had marked the first full week out there and then I stayed out there for two weeks uh, cool thing was my family was able to come up and we were able to celebrate 4th of July and um, some birthday parties in the family so we had a nice little barbecue and everybody got to hang out which brings me back to saying like I don't really get to hang out with my friends much unless it's a, a work project last couple videos you guys mentioned you really like the when I pulled the tape up so I included it all right guys so almost finished the baseboard still got to go up but I've been away from home for two weeks so I'm gonna head home come back up and complete the project uh, there's still some floors that got to be installed but here's a little walkthrough We still gotta do this room. It's not complete, it's where everything's at. But we'll be back. I'll be back Monday. Mm -hmm.